Well, it's the holiday season, and with that, scammers are targeting more and more Americans. A new survey by City finds while 90% of adults think they can fend off financial scams, more than 27% have actually been victims. Joining us live now is Mike Steinbach, head of financial crimes and fraud prevention with City, and a former FBI agent. Mike, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Jessica, thanks for having me. So I want to start, Mike, by just asking, do you guys see an increase this time of year when it comes to scammers? We know they're always kind of lurking and hoping to scam some people out of money, but this time of year, does that go up? It goes up uh, this time of the year, but it also goes up with other significant events. And to your point, great uh, survey that suggests that uh, Americans are overconfident in their ability to prevent scams. And so you take that fact and you add it to the the holiday season and the hustle and bustle of what's going on um, as we're distracted fraudsters definitely take advantage of that so what are some of the tactics that you all are seeing scammers use this time of year or really any time when they're targeting people yeah fraudsters are very good about changing tactics changing techniques they evolve very um very quickly but what we're seeing uh, more recently and, and certainly through the holidays is impersonation scams that are on the rise, particularly mm -hmm. bank impersonation scams where the bank will contact you or someone purporting to be the bank saying that you are the victim of fraud and asking you to move money. Never move money. A bank will never ask you to move money. Some of the other scams that are um, heightened during the holiday season are package deliveries, delivery scams, uh, missed deliveries, delayed deliveries, where uh, you get a link to click on and input information. That's a scam. And some of these scammers are pretty persistent, right? I mean, I can recall times where they try calling me three, four, five, six times, just trying to even get me to pick up the phone. Yeah, it's a good point. One of, one of the tips we, we talk about in terms of uh, preparing yourself mentally and, and defending yourself is when you think about unsolicited incoming communications at City, we say, don't take the call, make the call. But more broadly, any communication, a knock on the door, a letter, an email, a text, if that's unsolicited, ignore it, disconnect, and contact that company, financial institution, package delivery service through channels that you know to be legit. And Mike, you just mentioned a tip there, but what are some of your other tips for people, especially this time of year? What should they watch out for? Yeah, of course, you need to protect your information. Be concerned and be uh, wary about where you're logging on, storing your information, partner with your bank, right? Uh, enable biometric login, add two-factor authentication, make sure you're creating and using unique long passwords, set up transaction alerts, and lastly, spend a couple minutes each day logging on and checking your transaction history. Mike, before we go, anybody watching this, where can they go to get some more information? Yeah, lots of good information out there at City. We created a specific site, city.com slash fraud prevention, where we have lots of tips that you can uh, uh, use, as well as some of the techniques that we see the fraudsters using today. City.com slash fraud prevention. Okay. Mike, thank you so much for joining us this morning. A lot of great tips and good information.